some things that you know you guys have been talking about. Somebody talked about UFC fighter. I I remember John Jones. He was the heavyweight champion of the world, and he got stripped of his title because he was caught on a hit and run of a pregnant woman. And it wasn't because he, you know, hit a pregnant woman and then ran away from the scene of the car. It's because after he hit a pregnant woman with his car and ran away from the scene of the crime, he came back to the scene of the crime to get the drugs and the, the fucking cash he had in the car. And that's when an off-duty cop was like, isn't that John Jones, the heavyweight champion of the world? <laughs> That looks like a pregnant woman that he just hit with his vehicle. <laughs> I've been playing words with friends. Yeah, throw yeah. back there. <laughs> but there are like certain words that uh, are unacceptable. I refuse to believe these words are unacceptable. I just tried to play cunt told me it was an unacceptable word. <laughs> you can't tell me what is an unacceptable word, <laughs> words with friends. You have no authority over me. That's on, on that front. <laughs> Talking about favorite ice cream flavors. If somebody ever says, my favorite ice cream flavor is pistachio, you, you, know, you can't trust them. <laughs> Somebody, uh, guy here was just talking about how banging hat Hayden Pantieri is a superpower. I think that uh, is quite the opposite. I think banging Hayden Pantieri will, in fact, make you retarded. <laughs> but I was, because what? Because you banged her. Oh, he's calling me retarded. <laughs> I was a pretty scared kid, you know. I always thought I was going to get abducted, you know. I guess I thought I was too good looking or whatever. But, you know, I, uh, there was this presentation. This cop came to our school, you know, the old stranger danger nonsense. And he was like, how many of you kids? sit in your beds at night thinking you're gonna wake up somewhere else. And I was like, I was looking around. I was waiting for <laughs> hands to shoot up. I was like, I was getting ready. I was like, yeah, this guy's finally speaking my language. No, no, I was the only kid. I was the only one who was thinking I was gonna get abducted. Like, were these kids just like naive? Were, were they more desirable than me? Like, what? What? Why wasn't I getting abducted? Why weren't these kids getting abducted? But I'll tell you what made me such a scared kid. And it's two words, and it's Santa and it's Claus. Santa Claus. The ultimate example of perversion and pedophilia. He's, he sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. In my experience, the most personal and private of moments happen in one of these two times. <laughs> Maybe both. I used to be in the shower thinking, you know, he was looking at his crystal ball, like right in the corner. I'd, I'd be like covering up my willy, and I'd be like, Santa, what are you doing? I'd be, I'd be sitting on the toilet, and like I'd think he'd look in his crystal ball. He knows what I'm doing because I'm awake. Even those times if you fall asleep on this shitter, like he's still watching. He knows when you're asleep and awake. He covers his bases in two fucking sentences. I'm gonna talk about some prescription drugs. Prescription drugs, they can uh, they can get the best of you. They uh, there was this prescription drug that I saw on the television.
and you know, I was feeling pretty down. So I was like, hey doc, maybe you could uh, give me something, you know, take the edge off. And uh, he's like, how about this? And I, uh, I fill the script, and I'm, I'm look, I pull out the list of side effects like it's a nudie magazine. And I'm reading now, like, risk of heart attack, risk of stroke, contact your doctor if you commit violent acts against your loved ones. And, and like, three quarters of the way down the page is a side effect to end all side effects, like, a real deal breaker for me, if I'm being honest. It was permanent painful erections. <laughs> so anybody that is feeling down about their life can go to the doctor and be like, hey doc, can you give me something to take the edge off? <laughs> and then he'll be like, sure, try this. And now this poor sap has an ever boner. How many hopelessly depressed individuals are we walking around next to every day of our lives with their dicks taped to their thighs? <laughs> there is a natural compound that makes people have permanent painful erections. That's probably in this drug. And it's black widow venom. <laughs> So this antidepressant boosting drug, in my mind, is cooked up with mainly Black Widow Venom. <laughs> Somebody quote me on the science of that, but it's somewhere in there, I'm telling you. Speaking of which, the sperm whale has a 12 foot penis and ejaculates 60 liters of sperm every time. Yep. Damn nature, you crazy. <laughs> Has anybody ever thought about whale sex? Yes. I have. <laughs> but I won't get to talk about it. I'm sorry. That's it. Yeah!